Life is a journey from the moment we are born until the moment we die. But some journeys are defined by one single event or achievement. These events can be life-changing, for good or for bad. For one man, an act of courage in the centre of a boxing ring would mean that his life would never be the same again. For Sunderland's Tony Jeffries, this event was winning the bronze medal at the Beijing Olympic Games, the first person ever from Tyne and Weir to do so. Over the past 12 months, and with my camera, I've had full access to his training, his family, and an insight into his life as a professional boxer. This is his story, this is his journey, this is Tony Jeffries, life as a pro. Tony David Jeffries was born on March the 2nd, 1985, in Sunderland General Hospital, to parents Doreen and Phil. As with any youngster growing up in a working class city, life in Sunderland was tough. It wasn't too long before a 10 year old Tony got his first taste of boxing, as he told me back in our first interview. Yeah, well, ever since I learned to walk, me, me grandma loved boxing. Uh, me uncle was a boxer with his son. And uh, he used to always, when I could, as soon as I couldn't, as soon as I was that big, he was always standing up and he used to have throwing punches on his hands and just always sit, bought his boxing gloves when I was little. And then uh, when I was 10, I, I got took to a boxing gym, a local boxing gym, and, and me, me dad, uh, from then my dad took us and I've, I've had my ups and downs with boxing. I've wanted, when, I was, when you were younger, you know, you want to play out with the rest of the kids, uh, get up no good, knock on people's doors and run away, like, like kids do. But uh, me, me dad took us to the boxing gym and uh, he, he made us grow really, and he seen I had a talent at a young age, and he, he, he kept us at it and pushed us at it. So it was Tony's granddad Bryce who first introduced him to the sport, but he didn't get off to the best of starts. My first fight was at the Rover Hotel in Sunderland. Uh, how old was I? Was I 10? I was 11 years old. 11, he couldn't, get, he couldn't get a match, he was too big, wasn't he? He was you? too big for the, I was, I was big for the age, you know. For the age. And I was probably cutting me pants, like really scared. It was cutting me, really horrible. And uh, I was, I went to the ring and my mum was out there, I was a dinner show, everyone was on the dinner table, my mum was on the table with me, with me dad and that. He'd come over to me and he went, man, I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm not you will be alright, man. He went, man, I'm really, I'm really, really, I'm, ter I'm really terrified. I went, well, you'll be alright, just see, it, see how you go, you'll be alright, man. And I thought, oh, God, it's horrible, because he's really terrified. I was a bit sorry for him. <laughs> and then he got in the ring and I was like, Losing his first two fights could have put Tony off for good, but he stuck with it and soon started to notch up the wins. Got past the hardest thing, and that was the the, f the first fight. Uh, and I won my next next two. I know I won my next five fights, and from there, uh, I won a national title. Got picked for England. Although I lost my first fight for England, I boxed well. Uh, won another national title. Boxed for England a couple more times. Won another national title. I think in total I won five national titles. Uh, and I boxed for England over 50 times. This is the, this is uh, in my mum's house. We're in the trophy room. Uh, this is where all my trophies are when I was being an amateur. Uh, but all sorts of bits and bobs and souvenirs here. There's a cup from the Olympics. There's medals from sort of from. It's a silver medal I got in the Commonwealth Championships, Commonwealth Federations, not the Commonwealth Games. Uh, I pulled out the final. It was the day of me coach's funeral, Bobby Boots' funeral. And then the next day, I pulled up the final way I was doing. Uh, got a belt for winning the England box office. 
a gold medal there from one of boxing India Multi Nations. That was a good tournament. Uh, so a gold medal there for boxing uh, another Multi Nations. Uh, a bronze in the uh, European Union. So gold medal. There. So that's, I'm trying to see what the me, me best one was. Oh, you see it. This one. Uh, and one of my best ones. The European Cadet Boxing Champion. Uh, I won the European Championships in 2001. That was the first boxer to do that in 18 years. Uh, then a few years later, Ami Khan won the, won the same championships. Uh, so all sorts of trophies. These are England vests. I'm my first, this, is, this is my very first England vest when I was, oh, was that, 15 years old, 1999. I boxed against Ireland. I lost that fight. Uh, he boxed a good kid, Darren O'Neill. Still boxing now. But I England vests when I boxed in the European Championships. From there, went to the Commonwealth Games. Wasn't so successful in them. I really wanted to win gold. I thought I was going to win gold, but I lost to Kenny Anderson from Scotland. Who's a, who's a very good professional fighter now. Uh, I was devastated when I lost that fight. I th Really, really was. It was the worst, worst moment of my life, and it, it stopped us for, for years. It really did. Two years later, Tony achieved his qualification to Beijing in Chicago, overcoming the toughest of draws against the American team captain and beating his Belarusian opponent. And then, once I qualified, my life started to change. Then, seeing getting invited to big shows, meeting celebs here and there. Uh, Getting recognised around and how it was it was just that was just for qualifying for the Olympic Games, getting a lot of press and publicity. And then when the Olympic Games finally come round, I mean I trained really hard. It was like a year nearly until from I qualified to the Olympics. The the training was really really tough in Sheffield, four days a week, uh, three four times a day. And. Uh, the Olympics come and unfortunately I went there with a crack rib. I was gutted. My, my preparation in the last few weeks was terrible. The worst I'd prepared for any fight. So I was devastated about my preparation. So I trained all these years and all this time for the Olympics and I finally get there. I get there with a crack rib. I was gutted, but I had to keep it quiet in case I got out in the press. So everything Tony had worked for, all the blood, sweat and the tears, had left him in with a shout of a medal. All he needed to do was win. And it was everything I trained for. And I was waiting for that fight. I remember the last 10 seconds of that fight, I knew I was eight points up or something. And I heard the crowd counting down 10, 9, 8, and I thought, once this bell goes, I've got an Olympic medal. So I trained for for years and years. So the bell went and I jumped around and I was so excited. It was, it was better than winning the lottery. It was better. The, Best feeling I've ever experienced. Well, that, that night in Beijing, honestly, was probably one, one of the best nights of my life, really. Just, just the fact that I would travel such a long way to watch him and that, and uh, see when he won that. I think, well, I got a bit emotional, really. It was a uh, hell of a night, like, and made up for it after. I had a hell of a party down there, down the Denmark bar in Beijing, like, had a very good time, really, starting that, like, so it was good off. Well, there must be some stories about that, floating about, about that. <laughs> there were some good times in Beijing, but we'll leave them off camera, like. <laughs>